Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Independent Artists Unite Song Series. This is a very special show we have here. Helena from Trone, from right here in Copenhagen. Yeah. I'm, I'm so I'm, glad I'm, to be I'm, here. I'm so I'm so glad that that you that you uh, accepted this invitation. Um, sure. Because I'm, I'm honored. Uh, it's funny. I didn't intend to do this, but the first uh, the first episodes of this have been all over the world, like crazy all over the world. And now here we are right across Copenhagen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And well, we we have an interesting uh, musical history with each other. We should, we, we should get that out out front because you are yeah. the, the best friend of my beloved. Mm -hmm. You uh, sang at our wedding when we were married. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you comforted uh, my wife when we were divorced. <laughs> 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 and now you'll, you'll likely sing at our wedding when we get married. I hope so. I guess. <laughs> I would love to. <laughs> but it, it's been interesting because I've, I've also had a front seat to your uh, musical... Um, you know your musical adventures with Tron and and other and other projects um, over these last. Can you believe that it's really like almost fifteen years? No, no, no. It seems I, when, like when a few first, years, but it's yeah, yeah, because it's I, true. Well, the first time I met you, it, it was at uh, your daughter's. Um, uh, oh yeah, Selena's. Uh, um, well, christening baptism, it was christening, actually, yeah, baptism, yeah, baptism. yeah. yeah. And, yeah, um, you be you became a godfather to my child without yeah, I, god I ever yeah. even knew you. <laughs> the godfather. And, yeah, um, you're the godfather. And uh, yeah, without ever knowing me, that real trust. Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, darling. Mm. Yeah, but I I know my friend. You she know your friend. Tips. You know, yeah, yeah. she's got good. <laughs> <laughs> you you went on a strong recommendation from your best yes. friend. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> and but how old is she now? Because that's how, of course, how how long we've known each other. Yeah, she's sixteen. Sixteen. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, and she's off on her own, playing the piano. Yeah, building her own musical life. It's fantastic. I know that. Well, that's very interesting, right? Because you, it's like mm. you want to encourage them, but you don't want to be like you have to take piano lessons. Uh, yeah. I know, because I'm, I'm well. My my, you know, Ursula and Sky, my my oldest daughters, uh, my oldest kids, and um, no interest. Mm, in no, the like, writer's very musical, mm. but you can't push him in the slightest. He just no. shuts down. He just shuts down. Mm. He, we tried piano lessons. He won't do it. And um, but he just watches all these YouTube tutorials. You know, it's yeah. like a crazy. Uh, it, it, it's it's a uh, it's just a new age for real uh, about mm -hmm. like exploring music. Yeah, it's online. the same with Agnes. Yeah. Oh, did she, she do that too? Yeah. Yeah, she she didn't want. Uh, we had a teacher, but but it wasn't right for her. She yeah. wanted to to learn on her own, and and all of a sudden, now she plays jazz, and uh, I mean she's she's wow. much better at the piano than I am. <laughs> yeah. So right. so I'm like wow, uh, it took off on. On, on her uh, on her terms yeah. yeah yeah totally yeah yeah it's interesting because I, I i we've we're also having that with Ryder. i don't know if you even heard that i bought Ryder a guitar no i heard he was playing the piano yeah he he's he was playing the piano and um you know um he all of a sudden was like i really want a guitar and well we had this classical guitar that was uh, leah who, who, your best friend and my my two of my best wives um <laughs> <laughs> and her her dad had a classical acoustic mm -hmm. but you know they, those can be very hard to play especially for a beginner and of course he wants to do bar chords and things like that where it's very challenging um on a on a classical guitar like that, um, and so uh, I bought him a, a, a Fender Strat, like the, the Japanese mm. uh, uh, 
uh, which I, I didn't even realize that Fender's got like, it can be either like a US made or Mexico made, and that's the Fender, you know, name. And then, but they also have the Fender Strat um, that's uh, made in Japan that's a lot cheaper. And it's a, exactly the same guitar, except for maybe a different wood or something like that. But it's, you know, it, it, it sounds like a Fender Strat to me. And he's been playing like four or five hours a day. He's oh wow, oh, so into the YouTube tutorials yeah. and everything. Yeah, so it's cool. Same, same thing. Interesting. Mm -hmm. yeah. Interesting. This generation. <laughs> yes. Let's see what becomes of it. Yeah. My, how interesting. Yeah. <laughs> the youngsters. <laughs> Sometimes too interesting, but mm -hmm. agreed. And I was thinking, um the song that you decided um, to talk about today, Pale Moon Lady, mm -hmm. was this the very same, on the very same album that you delivered to me in my hospital bed after my heart attack? Oh my God, yes, it was. I gave it to you on a cassette tape. On a I? cassette tape, yeah. With I mean, a I, little Walkman, yeah. I if, that's, if that's mm -hmm. not the coolest gift, when yeah. I mean, everybody knows when you're on morphine mm. after Neil Fader <laughs> heart attack, you know, I mean, we can all relate. Right. And you're sitting there in the hospital mm -hmm. bed. You know, you've, you've been in a coma for a few days. You know, your, oh, your, your, your heart stopped mm -hmm. for 40 minutes yeah. and, you know, you're you're just kind of mellow on the morphine and a tape. And you not only delivered a tape, but you delivered an old school Walkman with headphones, mm -hmm. which yeah. was just like the ultimate gift to, to just, <laughs> you know. Oh, I'm so glad you and, liked and it. Take it in. Oh, <laughs> yeah. that, that was so, that was so incredibly thoughtful, uh, you know, um, compared to some of the chocolates and candy. <laughs> yeah. But I also wanted to remind you that making music is, I, I mean, it's uh, well, worth living for. And that's I don't know. I, don't know I was, that. I was, Really looking forward to hearing more of your music on that point. Oh, well, that's so lovely. You know, I don't think I, I don't know if I put that together, but of course no. it, it wasn't too long after that where I was like, I have to make music mm. uh, ag again, really. And that's, that's mm. when I started again after, after yeah. a very long absence. So maybe mm. you put that little seed in my head. So thank you for that. <laughs> that, was, that was I don't so, want to take was credit for that. a lovely gesture. It was such a lovely yeah. gesture. Thanks. Um, mm -hmm. And um, so Pale Moon Lady, tell us yeah. a bit about that. It's a, it's, it's a, I mean, what I'm hearing, like, it's a story song. It sounds so detailed. I'm wondering if it's a, a real story, but tell us, tell us more. Yeah. Well, why I chose this song is because I really, I really love the mood of it. Mm. Um, and also it's special because we kind of improvised the whole thing, ah. even the lyrics. Wow. So most of the lyrics are improvised. And then after when I was listening to the to what I had come up with, I was kind of shocked because it's wow. pretty dark. Yeah. And it deals with this um, female archetype uh, which is a mixture of the moon archetype which mm. is this moon goddess a little dangerous uh, dark side of the moon stuff um, mother's stuff and also mm. the the aging woman who is kind of full of taboos because as mm. a woman the femininity is very much associated with beauty and the uh, the more age uh, you accumulate as a woman the the is less uh, associated with beauty so there's a lot of mm. the aging woman the mother the moon and how society sees this archetype that was built into these lyrics and i i really like that because it's not it's not easy to deal with I think and it's it, it wouldn't have been easy to sit down and write a song about it so I'm really glad that it came out in all these strange dark images that mm. I think it, it did well it, it must it must well I know this about you because I, I, I over, every once in a while decipher some Danish conversations that you're having with with the 
<laughs> my, my special one, our special one. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, this must be some things that you are thinking about quite a lot, you know, when, mm -hmm. because uh, if, if they are fed so easily into a spontaneous. Um, yeah. Yeah, but it form. is. Yeah, it is. But I think, um, I think about a lot of other things too, but, but, yeah. but this topic is, is, is kind of important. Also, uh, the reason why I talk with uh, your special one about it is because we, we, we both have daughters mm. and, uh, and, and, and that makes you think about the whole female experience in, in, mm. uh, or rethink it because what was life like when we were, 14, 15, 16, like our daughters are now. Um, how how can we guide them to uh, maybe a better experience? Because uh, there's no secret that the world is evolving right now, and mm. and uh, we have we have some words that we didn't even use back uh, in our youth. We we didn't talk about patriarchy, and we didn't mm. talk about male gaze and all that. Yeah. So 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 those are new terms that we are thinking about and processing and uh, uh, also processing uh, in relationship to our own youth. So it's also yeah. the, 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 the view of, of one's own life uh, back in time mm. that, 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 that takes a new meaning sometimes when, you, when the world is evolving. So there's a lot of sadness in a lot of women right now because in my age, because we look back on things that we wish we're different back then. Mm. We're, we're very happy that it's changing now, but a lot of internalized, uh, yeah, lack of belief in one's own ability and stuff like that. That 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 is associated with how the patriarchy has been working. Mm. Um, and and yeah, so so we talk a lot about that. That's true, and I think a lot about it, and uh, and and it comes out in the lyrics. And uh, yeah. I mean, uh, some of it is is also uh, one of the, one of the topics is this beauty thing, uh, where in one of the verses uh, it ends with like you put a knife to your chest and lift your own spirit higher, and I was literally thinking about like plastic surgery that you try to um, to lift something up higher, and then yeah. you also want to lift your own spirit because uh, you want to be. You don't want it only to be. Uh, it's it's a kind of meshed between uh, the spiritual and the and the appearance that is uh, one of the female experiences yeah. that are a little bit tricky. Yeah. yeah do you I understand, mean, I, or is it? Uh, no, no, no. I do. It, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do understand, but I want yeah. to. Uh, well, I I, I I I didn't know if you're comfortable talking about this, but when I when I was reading the lyrics again now from mm -hmm. where we're sitting now, because this was in 2019 or probably 2018 when you recorded yeah. or, mm -hmm. or improved it, but then there's been another experience with chest and knives and and things. I don't know if you wanted if you're comfortable talking about that or if you want to talk yeah, about yeah sure it. yeah but, but I, what, I, I thought it was like wow that imagery that you mm -hmm. wrote about then uh has got you know uh, another layer on it now. yeah but it, it's it, yeah i don't I, exactly what are you referring to is something it, <laughs> well I, I was i mean i'm referring to your uh, breast cancer Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm so stupid. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> well, you maybe you wouldn't. I but, mean, I, no, I, I, no, would, but, but, I just uh, I just thought of it because, uh, um, yeah, you know, no, from where, of from, course, yeah. of course. But that that's kind of uh, it's creepy almost because a knife to your chest. Yeah. Hello. Uh, since then, um, yeah, I had a I had breast surgery because I had a tumor in my left uh, boot and um, and yeah now there has been this literal knife to my chest and I, yeah. I, I haven't e even thought about it in relation to, to the lyrics uh, but so that that's what happens sometimes it's strangely yeah. woven into something uh, that you don't really there's not yeah 
quite difficult to explain. I've heard other songwriters talk about it that sometimes mm. you're almost prophetic and and uh, but but it's like it had a different different meaning back then. But now I can say like, oh my god, actually well, it did yeah. happen. <laughs> I mean, I think so, secret, of course it doesn't happen with every song, you know. But it's no, like, especially yeah. when there's a song like like this, which is really mm. like so. It really is also a, like a, a wonderful poem. I'm I'm hoping mm. you'll read the lyrics um, for us because it really is like a beautiful poem on its own. But and there's such a rich imagery in it. It 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 really resonates. You know what I mean? And and th th those are the great like pieces. I mean, those are the great poems of the world and the great songs of the world where you can go back a different time in your life and look at it and be like, Oh, wow. This means a whole, mm -hmm. a, a whole new thing to me. You know, mm -hmm. you know, what you don't get from like, shake it up, baby. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so, something that's like, you know, uh, it, it's so, uh, I don't know what I, it, it, this just, what it seems to me is like, it just feels like this, you know, a blossoming jungle that you're that mm. you're that you're you know like an uh, an urban albeit an urban jungle you know mm. of, of all this rich uh imagery you know mm. uh, um yeah. and uh yeah it's 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 i mean for those that don't know your music of course i'm going to play a, a clip of that this one i'm um promoting it but this one reminds me i don't know if you'll agree with me but it reminds me a little bit of I don't know if I'm just taking an easy uh, shot at it, but of like a Nico Helms Velvet Underground or like a, um, or if Nico was the singer for, if it was uh, uh, Nico and the Bad Seeds. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Nico and the Bad Seeds, yeah. Yeah, I agree. I, I, I was heavily, I mean, possessed by uh, Nick Cave uh, yeah. at that, time also yeah so it it's no no i and it, it's also influenced by his i don't know uh vocabulary in a way mm. uh there, there are some words that are just like meadow sorrow mm. that are really nick cave like in my yeah. in my uh opinion well he's a wonderful uh, he's a wonderful person to like be influenced by because mm. it's really only he can do what he does and yeah, I think yeah. he in influences a lot of people <laughs> like that because yeah. you could like you could like take another person and say, okay, mm. you know, do this Nick Cave song, and nobody, mm. you know, nobody can do that. It's going to become so, something new. So yeah. that's that's very special. Uh, that's a very special. Um, I think like uh, a continual gift that he's given. Yeah. Musical artists. Yeah, but I think also in his lyrics, he's really good at iconizing. Can you say that? things like oh, mythil mythologizing uh, yeah. like uh, so so that everyday experiences like going to the hairdresser becomes a quest uh, right, you, right, right, you talk yeah. to god and you, you know yeah, things yeah, like yeah. that I, I really like that because that that's in a way how i process my life that uh yeah. <laughs> shit is happening and then i have to like <laughs> mythologize it to understand it uh, or to make sense of it and, and yeah, you know yeah. i think i think maybe it's a, a part of the human experience that we do that with our stories that yeah. we want to like lift it up to be something potent and and worthwhile re relating to, to people so yeah, yeah like so. I, I need I, we need more milk let me mm -hmm. just take my broadsword and shield. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, so I don't mind using big words and big gestures in 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 music. I think yeah. uh, sometimes it's it, it can be valuable, and, and if, if it's only that, then it become pompous. But yeah. Um, yeah. and there's you know something else he he does too, and not every one of his songs, but uh, um, so, something that that this one does too is that it feels dangerous mm -hmm. you know you're yeah. not you're not sure you know mm. what what's going to happen uh yeah in this woman's life um mm. or if she's actually alive you know i also mm. when i was reading yeah. it, it could also <laughs> be like happening in the spirit world or something yeah it, it, it it's yeah. All, has like a, a witchy feel to it the whole mm. the whole yeah. uh, the whole uh thing i mean i can see it being on like you know 
<laughs> the, the Wicca playlist. <laughs> yeah, but I wanted it to be. Uh, I wanted it to be like a dream. Like when do you know when you dream that that you have an image of of a person or something, and right. then you change you change um, uh, viewpoint. I mean, yeah. suddenly I'm the woman. Suddenly she sees me, and you know. So I'm yeah, changing yeah. the viewpoint a few right. times during the song, and and also it's in the timeline. There's some there's some jumps and stuff. So yeah, right, right, yeah. right. And, yeah, and so, yeah, so, exactly. That yeah. was very that's mm. super effective. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and and yeah. I think that 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 adds to this little dangerous and also dreamy feeling that you yeah. you're, you're not getting the picture quite quite sharp. You you have to like interpret it a little bit and yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. I like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. Well, that's a great set <clears throat> for you to read the lyrics if you're comfortable with that. Yeah, I would love to, but it's a little bit long. <laughs> Do you want That's me to right. read part of it? Okay. No, no, no. Read but... the whole thing. It's a it's a beautiful uh, poem. So you know. Okay. We, we I, I aim, find it. I aim uh... for a half hour on the show, so we got time. Really? Okay. <laughs> okay. Excuse my English. <laughs> I love your it English. Goes. Thanks. It goes, when the dark night slows down in your sleep and you pass into dreaming, that's when she'll be coming. Car driving by leaves a spray of small droplets from the dirty pavement on the left side of her coat. She passes through crowds of people, shopping bags and dog leashes, perfume and cigarette smoke. Peeled off nail polish light up pink in the sleeves of a black trench coat on this bird-like woman. She's a daughter, sister, mother. She's a grandmother, uh, cousin, baby, darling, honey, tramp, superstitious lady. And the tide is coming and the wind is calling and the dreams are fading into misty gray clouds in the meadow. Please help me, I'm falling. Safe under someone's merciful care, blue her eyes and yellow her hair, sad goodbyes rushing out and your mind has the will to follow. Comfort your own, cherish your gold, open the door and never grow old, put a knife to your chest and lift your own spirit higher. She comes in with wet clothes dripping on the rug and she left a package on the round table in the hallway. Brilliant bodies mirrored in the forest pool, like pale, innocent eyes looking at her face. And the sails were all ragged and rimmed by rust. I can't reach out when you're lacking trust. I run too fast, but I don't feel just to be going. Smitten by lust, lovesick and dry, dark, dark nights in a Romeo sky, call on the wild, but never to show any mercy. Uh, rotten teeth pressed against pale white skin. With the strength of the dam, he pushes her in, his snake tongue moving in circles all over her body. By the grove of trees, there's a black fish pond. The surface is broken. They fall to the ground. He sets for the kill and drops her in the muddy water. Wow. Yeah, it's it's a little scary. <laughs> Yeah. Just your basic improv. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's amazing. Wow. What a what a mind you have to just uh you know uh, <laughs> okay. toss, toss that off, you know. <laughs> it it some of it I I I redid, but ninety percent is like totally improv. Yeah. I, and I'm not really yeah. sure how it came up. I mean, oh, yeah. but you I'm really channel, glad it did because yeah. you were channeling some, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're channeling something there. Wow, yeah. that's so mm -hmm. cool. I didn't know that about that song too. That it was oh. improv like that. That's really, yeah, that's really special. Um, yeah, it's really special with when, when anything like that happens. That seems mm -hmm. so uh, spontaneous and and mm -hmm. rich at the same time, and then yeah, you, you kind of stand back and go, wow. You know what? The, mm. What the hell was that? Yeah. And and who the hell am I? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I I, ha I had a friend uh, asking me the other day, 
do you ever uh, make music or lyrics where you sit back afterwards and and and, and scare yourself like <gasps> can't play this to anybody they'll think I'm crazy <laughs> And and uh, and I was like, yeah, but I, but I but I actually embrace that side because, mm. I mean, the darkness inside everyone has a bit of it, and if we're not like embracing it, then that's when it can become dangerous. I mean, that's when it can overtake you, or it can come out in unconscious uh, acts and stuff like that. So, I think you should embrace your own darkness and. Uh, Sing about things that scare you also yeah mm. i mean it's it, it, it it's interesting you know before um when i was when i was going to mention the breast cancer and you look you, mm. you you looked at me like oh what are you what are you uh what are you thinking about i was trying to think of a way to mention it because you were talking about this experience of being a woman and and with your daughters and everything like that but i know from firsthand experience that it's also um Jeez, I don't want to say, you know, it's like uh, uh, our special one is teaching me to try to not say the wrong thing. About <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I will just say it's an experience for men like me, you know, it, or it's been my experience, you know, of like a re-education, you know, because it's like, like, you know, uh, Leah, my my uh, now my beautiful ex-wife and and fiance, uh, <laughs> ex-wife new fiance. <laughs> yeah, love that. Um, that um, you know, it's really like uh, I've learned so much, you know, mm -hmm. but it's like at the same time, the more I learn, the more embarrassed I am that I didn't know it already, and. Um, of course, having daughters and seeing them go out into the world, um, you know, some things really start sinking from like the idea uh, phase to, you know, really feeling it like in your body and soul, you know, mm. and, and, um, but it's, I know for us, this, this whole journey has cha has changed our relationship, the way we relate to each other. So, I mean, it's not just. Uh, I'm just wondering, really, it's not just a journey like between mothers and daughters, but it's like a journey uh, of between women in every relationship that they have mm -hmm. in their life, right? Uh, romantic yeah, and is. otherwise. It is, and uh, it's it's also uh, where I I, I recognize this. Uh, uh not i don't know if it's shame but it's a kind of a uh, regret that uh, that 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 one didn't know better before mm. and i mean i uh, i i've had my uh, amount of uh, internalized uh, misogyny so i've been like bitchy to my friends about things that i wish i i, I hadn't been mm. now uh, or had some views uh, also on on women uh, you know, there's just so much bias in society, mm -hmm. and bias is is what it's called when it's unconscious, and we all have it, and it's uh, and 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 something some things are surfacing now, and people are 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 waking up a little bit from mm -hmm. um, from from a lot of those kind of bias, and and I think it's really healthy and and really um, sad also because there's a lot of sadness connected to it from things that have happened in the past. So uh, I think maybe at the, this was a part of the, the song also, because in the end, she's kind of killed. <laughs> this, the, the, the female figure in this song is, is, is she's killed in the end. And mm -hmm. I'm like, it, it's, it's both the moon like uh, vanishing, like mm -hmm. you can't see her anymore. And, and, and it's also this, male desire or masculine desire to conquer what is what is like a female power mm. i don't know if do you know what i mean I, yeah, yeah, yeah. not uh, or, or the the i'm, I'm not ref, i i don't only mean men i i, I just mean this uh, masculine uh, desire to conquer that women can also have but in view of this female power which in the 
uh, in the old days she was called like a witch or so yeah, the, yeah there's yeah. there's a lot of uh, fear uh, connected to this and and that's why i was uh, i think this this she got killed in the end or, or, yeah. or she ends up like disappearing from the stage again because we can only take this much of uh, this very strong dark female archetype mm. Yeah, yeah. I, I I I was thinking of that too, like um, because it it, it is like you know per, perhaps some women have this uh, conquer thing, but it it's like pretty pretty safe to say that you know men are more inherently violent than than women, and of course there is this long history, like you said, of of the witch burning, and if if some um, woman uh, comes out as being very powerful that they're that they're um you know uh, uh, well it reacts with uh yeah with fear and i, I mean really mm -hmm. they're 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 killed in some way mm -hmm. it could be metaphorically killed like mm -hmm. you know like hillary clinton or something yeah yeah but but it's like it's like you can't uh it, it's like yeah, I can see that, you know, as like this struggle um, for a, a powerful woman to to exist mm -hmm. and not be um, tried, you know, to be taken down in, in one form or yeah. another, you know. And I, yeah, because I, I realize, I keep realizing this stuff about myself. Of course, you know, uh, uh, um, my beloved points it out to me, but she says I'm a pretty good feminist, but it's it's pretty performative, she said. <laughs> But I'm trying. <laughs> yeah, but that's the best thing you can do is try. I mean, yeah, that, yeah. Um, but yeah, I was thinking, yeah, that ending with the killing, it, you know, um, yeah, I, I guess just knowing you and and two, because they have, there's this quest quality to the song, you know, it, it that, uh, that like, I, I thought maybe at the end it's it's what's dying is her agreement to to be this type of of woman like which is like in the male gaze or or mm. weak or ugly or you know yeah and and yeah. And, and maybe she's going to rise like the phoenix to yeah. you know, who knows what yeah. you know? but, 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 if, but if the it's... male is always, the reaction from the man is always kill her <laughs> yeah kill it dump it in the muddy water <laughs> and kill yeah, it, but I kill was... it. What is it? Kill yeah. it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but my imagery, and we we actually perform this song almost at all our shows because yeah. it's it's really yeah, well, I've seen you it's really it. yeah yeah <laughs> it's, it's really like an, nice it's like to... an incantation or like yeah, it's it a is. tribal yeah, yeah feel and too. and yeah. the reaction we get from people are like some there's always uh, someone who's like and. and like really puzzled and then moves closer and tries to what is this and i really like that people are get, getting drawn in this way mm. but uh, my imagery uh, when i sing it live is also is always of the moon mm. so it's not you can't kill the moon i mean you can you can kill her reflection yeah. but you can't kill i mean she's right there behind the sun <laughs> yeah, yeah. hiding and she'll be out again tonight so I mean, yeah. I, it's it's like this force uh, that of nature that you can't kill, and I think a lot of of the female power is like that as well. Maybe we will um, uh, be submersive for because of a dangerous situation, but the power can can surface again, mm. even though you have to be uh, submissive for. A, yeah. for some situations if you are in a dangerous situation yeah if you want to i don't uh, yeah exactly yeah 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 um and two i just want to uh, because you mentioned the live show i think that's why i thought of an incantation is because you're um you are well you're an intense and wonderful performer um, thank you um, firstly but you're the way I, I can see you doing this song and you're you know the bit arm you know and it's almost like you're doing an incantation you know yeah. uh, uh, so mm -hmm. maybe that's what I also feeding into my thing like it feels like a, 
uh, a witch's <laughs> incantation yeah. the whole thing kind of thing or some kind yeah. of spell you know mm -hmm. you know yeah. which is really it is works really well um, yeah but an homage to uh to female power i'm i'm all up for that <laughs> yeah so which is not necessarily a song nick cave would write maybe nope, he i don't think so either no. nope he's not there nope. yet he's not there nope. yet <laughs> no, not yet. Um, and I mean, there's also this now where you mentioned the breast cancer thing, uh, because that that has been an evolution for me as well. Because mm -hmm. right before that, my hair was was very long and red, and uh, right. it was a a big part of my identity to mm. be, if not beautiful, then attractive sometimes if i wanted to <laughs> yeah like feminine in that way yeah yeah and then all of a sudden i went bold um because of chemotherapy so so i've i've tasted a lot of this um mm. uh if, yeah yeah the way that the that the world perceives you as mm. a woman yeah when you're not like being very feminine because the bold look, uh, while it actually can be pretty beautiful uh, for women also, um, it's not associated with femininity. Mm. So uh, I, people I knew, not my best friends, but people that I knew would overlook me if, if they saw me. Mm. I mean, they, they couldn't recognize me because I didn't have this pow red hair yeah. and yeah. there's a woman walking in the door there was just this i was just this creature walking in and yeah. so yeah so so that has been that has been yeah, yeah I, thought, I mean i thought about that and there's one because there's one lyric in there where you say um about the blue eyes and uh yeah and 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 blonde hair which when i met you you yeah. had the long blonde hair but I don't know if people can tell on the Zoom, but also when you see you in person, your eyes are a certain color blue that are <laughs> like a bit like uh, a bit like uh, hypnotizing, you know. <laughs> I remember you, you just have one of those gazes where if you're in a conversation and you uh, and you lock eyes, you're a little bit like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that before. <laughs> Someone said, I hope she's not angry at me yeah. <laughs> because my eyes can look really right. intense. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. And also, well, maybe just the last thing I, I want to talk about. I'm I'm running over a bit oh, on the promise sorry. 30 minutes. Is that all right? Yeah. No, no. I just yeah, yeah, I said I'd keep you 30 minutes, but yeah, okay. I wanted to talk about when you when you had the cancer and you lost your hair because as far as I can you do a lot of live shows around Copenhagen, and as far as I could tell you didn't cancel any shows and no. you just went right out there with a bald head and yeah. did these shows which was like mm -hmm. um well of course since I know you I reacted like oh my god is she taking care of herself or is she mm -hmm. is she just taking a leap off the uh, mountainside <laughs> or um or is she like just wanting to um you know, surround herself with the, you know, the most pure and wonderful thing that, that she has, you know, her mm -hmm. art and her, yeah. you know, and, and, but it was such a powerful thing. And, and I'm one Thank of the you. people that's a huge fan of your mm -hmm. bald head, by the way. <laughs> I, I, I thought that was like the look. I mean, yeah. I, I, yeah. I, 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 you, you, you did a video um for for you had a new single out and did a video yeah. uh, and shot it with the um with the bald head and it was just mm -hmm. like you couldn't take can't take your eyes uh, off yeah. you with the, with the eyes the, yeah. the eyes paired with the bald head it was like yeah. uh, forget it it was just like take me to your leader <laughs> thank you <laughs> <laughs> but you're absolutely right it was both um uh, throwing myself off a cliff but also really just surrounding myself with what gives life and I, I you know you're a musician yourself you know how it can like pull you up from the darkest depths so yeah I did it I mean you, uh, can't, even you though... can't not do it you can't not do oh, it you know that no. that's that's yeah. 
when you know, you know. Yeah. It's like how, oh, how, how do I know? I never wanted to call myself a musician. I don't know about you. But I was always like, no, no, you know, uh, musicians are like <laughs> magicians, you know, a slip, yeah. of, uh, slip of the tongue. But um, it, uh, I always think it's someone that's like a virtuoso, you know, on their instrument ah, okay. like that. Yeah. Um, but now I'm like, oh, no, a musician is like one of those people that can't not do it. Yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. They will wither and uh, fall apart if 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 they stop. So let's yeah. not do that. Let's not do that. <laughs> and also, I I have I have a I love this Instagram thing uh, that you're doing. I think it's a fa fantastic, and I think it's a uh, part of the evolution of the world that we're getting new channels to uh, expose our art and get to know each other. I really really like it and. I've had other experiences with people that I've met through Instagram. For example, there's this Swedish guy um, that I connected with uh, and he saw uh, this uh, video that you spoke about where where I um, oh, sing with, it, with my yeah. both. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and he wanted to make a, a work of art out of the video for a museum in, um, in Sweden. Oh, that's right. I saw that. Yeah. yeah. And that's because, uh, and it was such a a, a sweet uh, gesture, and also I was really proud and honored that he wanted to make something out of our thing. And uh, but he told me that his mother died of cancer uh, not too long ago, and she was a singer, mm. and she stopped singing when she got sick. And he was just so, uh, he it 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 made him very happy that I didn't stop. Wow! Even yeah. though I was, yeah. So, so it it made sense in an, in a different way. Also, oh, that's so beautiful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I so, I also have had incredible connections over Instagram. I think I used to be one of those people that will joke about Instagram. Ah, Instagram, this and this, and all mm, mouth or yeah. whatever. But I've had incredible connections with people, especially doing this show. You know, I mean, yeah. Which I got the idea, by the way, uh, from another uh, a guy, um, Jimmy B from Tokyo Teens that I that I met over here. Yeah, he, he had me on his Instagram live, mm -hmm. and he knew my material, you know, and mm -hmm. he knew my songs, and he asked me mm -hmm. specific things about my songs, and mm -hmm. I I thought I was gonna cry. Yeah, you know, I was like, <laughs> this is like the dream come true, not like the yeah. number one song or the 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 oh. island in the Caribbean or whatever. <laughs> and so I thought, this is what I, I want to give this experience to yeah. other people. Mm. And I didn't quite, that's as simple as it was. I didn't quite think mm. about what beautiful mm. connection you make with people when you share the, the innermost workings of your creative heart and soul. Mm. Uh, it's mm. like, it's a connection that, that, that um, doesn't stop. You know? Yeah. So now mm. I, I feel, I feel the connections to all these people. So yeah. it's like, it's an incredible mm -hmm. gift for me to to do this, and so mm -hmm. I'm 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 just gonna keep on doing it as a part of my life because I yeah I, I I love it and I for many years I think I forgot that I'm a fan of music first mm -hmm. and foremost you know yeah and now and not I, the music industry <laughs> yeah <It's, laughs> yeah yeah we're building our but own too, you know it's like it's, mm -hmm. it's 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 you know but I felt so competitive with other musicians yeah. too it's like yeah like I mean I mean it was so insane it was like Oh, I can't listen to you too. Mm. Why not? Well, you know, mm. I'm in clear competition with Bono from you too. <laughs> this is <laughs> like course. the insanity. Yeah. You know, I can't listen to that. You know, <laughs> next thing I know, I've been, I'll be doing a vocal like, you know, <laughs> it's gonna totally <laughs> fuck me up. <laughs> yeah, but that's in the spirit of the of the time. Time zeitgeist, as you call it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that we are embracing more. Uh, I, more, more voices are are getting heard. There are more, more um, types of people are at having a seat at the table, and and we're sh we we want to share our music, and we want to listen to each other. I mean, yeah, that's I mean, just I'm, much. I'm, I'm, and too, and I don't know about you, but I'm like one of those people too that was like bemoaning the new state of the uh, industry and the streaming and the and the uh, and the crumpling of 
of labels and, and, and of course, uh, recording studios and everything like that. And now I'm just like, this is fucking cool, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we can collaborate on things. Of course, being in the same city, we can do it face to face or we can send things. You know, now I'm having I'm working as, as far as I'm concerned, if he'll take me to the day I die again, um, this guy, <laughs> this guy in Virginia, you know, mm -hmm. um, and he lives in the backwoods of Virginia, uh, this band Pain in the S that's remixing and like producing uh, all, all my stuff going forward. He did this remix that was just out. And we have some some new things coming out that I'm just like, is a dream come true, you know? And it's fantastic from Denmark to Virginia, like what? Mm -hmm. But this this is the world. We can all collaborate with each other. We can all and the streaming thing is yeah, we're not making any money, but at least no one is, you know. That's mm -hmm. <laughs> at least it's a level playing field, yeah. you know. So the competition and, is off. <laughs> yeah, but my, I mean, for a kid, I mean, for a kid in their bedroom to be able to record a song and mm. put it on Spotify and start promoting it and trying to, mm. uh, you, you know, get get on playlists and submit it and just getting exposure all over the world. that That's incredible, you know. Yeah, uh, it's uh, beautiful. I, I, yeah, I never got past, uh, you know, uh, looking at the gatefold of Ziggy Stardust and, and singing it into my brush in the mirror, you know. Yeah, now, yeah. <laughs> now kids can, can actually put their music out there it's it's, yeah. it's like it, it really is incredible you know so mm -hmm. I, now I'm just em embracing all that stuff which was yeah actually very healing too because I was very resistant to how, mm -hmm. how how things have changed I don't know how you've been but yeah 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 I've, I think every artist that is trying to like use the old channels which are like radio and conventional media, like newspapers and mm. television and stuff. That there, it's really hard to to get heard because there's a lot of uh, things being made, and and they have a very narrow view of uh, what is uh, commercial music, mm. and um, so yeah. so that can get you very resentful and and also. Uh, discouraged of uh because it's it feels every no can feel like uh, uh you suck and not just a yeah. no <laughs> yeah yeah exactly so, yeah yeah so I, I used but, to feel that way too like every no was a yeah. was, was a you suck and yeah. and now it's there's the but there's so many outlets you know what I mean mm -hmm. and now if I get a no it's uh, I I don't even think it's a I you suck it's like a oh the path goes yeah, somewhere okay. else yeah yeah precisely yeah and uh, we we tried with the uh, with our first album to uh, to get reviews in the big Danish papers, and we mm -hmm. got one. <laughs> uh, but then we got a lot of reviews in in blogs and and uh, smaller outlets all around the world, actually. Mm. And that that in a way that was much more interesting because. Uh, I mean, there's a f five big Danish papers and and. But but it was more interesting to hear what what did they say about us in Germany and in yeah. Argentina and stuff like that. So so that's been uh, uh, I mean that's that's shifting for us too. But yeah, yeah. we we still would love to be played in the radio and we would love to yeah. you know be invited because there's a food chain in this and mm. some sometimes if you get a song on the radio it it's easier to get a live job somewhere to okay. or to, yeah. to play at the festivals and stuff like that so we are still trying but we are really enjoying the other community because mm. that's where 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 there's like resonance that yeah. you can get yeah you you, you talk to people and you mm. it's not just a wall of no thank you <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah and so tell us quickly, we'll, we'll wrap up here about what uh, Trone is doing uh, next. Yeah, we are, uh, we just, uh, yeah, we, we are actually in the studio right now, uh, preparing for three new songs um, oh. uh, that are totally new. We only played them a few times live uh, this weekend. And um we have a producer working with us for the first time, and that's oh, wow. really interesting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and we're like 
working with our music in a little bit because like pale moon lady we we like to improvise a lot and mm. uh but but this time there's someone asking questions like what if we did this and so so we're actually producing the music a little bit more and i think that's that's a healthy step for us and it's always nice to have a third party that can tell mm. the guitarist to turn uh turn down exactly yeah <laughs> Yeah, and we're actually doing it without guitars this time. Oh wow! Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. excited about that. Yeah, interesting. But we, yeah, we have a very uh, yeah, he's sort of like a genius. Our uh, keyboard yeah. player, who's no, he's also, the uh, mad scientist genius. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yes, he is. Uh, so and 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 since we stopped playing with the guitarist, his music is just like. Blah, 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 out of him and, and yeah so so we're changing a little bit uh but i think it's very interesting and yeah i'm totally yeah. excited mm -hmm. about that wow thank you is there anything i can listen to off the record already or yes. is still there yeah. really oh yeah yeah i'll send it to you <laughs> this is the best <laughs> part about having a show you start getting connections yeah. like this i got mm -hmm. i got i just interviewed a guy that i i'm a, such a fan of these guys I didn't even think he would agree to do the show. And he was like, um, yeah, I'd love to. Yeah, great. <laughs> and I got an advanced copy of a, of a song, you know, wow. because he, this is coming out in mid-September. And I was like, I'm getting advanced copies. <laughs> <laughs> so it's yeah. so exciting. Yeah. Well, great. Love you, Helena. Thank you I for love doing you too. this. And uh, wow, you. that was, yeah. Now, actually, um, I did, uh, well, I'm hoping how it works for everyone. Now I'm going to go back and listen to Pale Moon Lady again, because <laughs> Thanks. It's, it, it's also totally cool to get the story and, and, and talk like this and then go back and listen to it, because yeah. then it's like, wow, it's, mm -hmm. a whole, it's a whole new experience, you know? Yeah. Um, but uh, definitely, uh, if you would, come back on the show again when this new uh, EP comes mm. out and tell and, and, and talk to. to us about the, the all new uh, guitarless trolling, which I'm like mm. very excited about actually. Yeah, yeah me too. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Scott. Thank you. See you soon. Yeah, see you soon. Bye.